So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at including and excluding certain objects from certain lights. So I've got this simple scene set up here with uh, three spheres, sphere one, two, and three. And I've got two lights, a red light over here, casting a reddish kind of light, and a blue light over here, casting a bluish light. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna take the sphere two and exclude it from any kind of red lighting. So I'm just gonna click my red light here and then click on the project tab. And then what I wanna do is drag and drop sphere two in here. So by default, the mode is set to exclude. And now you'll notice that the sphere has turned uh, blue. This is because it's not receiving any red light and you'll notice it's lost its shadow, one of its shadows. That's because uh, it's no longer receiving a shadow from the red light. This is when it gets tricky. We've got these four options here. This here isn't an option, uh, but this is. We've got direct lighting, specular, shadows, and hierarchy. Now, I'll show you quickly how hierarchy works. I'm gonna create a cube, and I'm gonna make it child of sphere two. So you'll notice straight away, um, the child is getting excluded from the red light as well. Now, if I click this, it's now basically including the child. So if you click one of these, it basically includes them. And uh, this is where it can get quite complicated. So I'm just gonna delete this child and go back to the red light. So now if I click shadow, it will bring back the shadow. It will include it. And there you go, the shadow's back. And likewise with specular, uh, looks pretty much the same now and direct lighting seem hasn't made a huge difference so um, basically if I check all these it's uh, back to normal it's back to kind of include mode so that's how it works and I'll just go to my blue light here and exclude uh, sphere one and now it looks like sphere one is reddish that's because it's only receiving the red light it's excluded from the blue light and then um, if I uh, choose include instead of exclude, it basically does the inverse. Um, only sphere one can receive the blue light. That's what that means. And the rest of them just receive red light. So you can imagine it begins to get really complicated here, but um, it's definitely a powerful tool set which can really uh, help you kind of control your scene in terms of lighting. And um, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and uh, thanks for watching.